feuds between street and licensed vendors continue. Licensed vendors of three Kwaramban markets stage sit-in, demanding new market policy by January 10. Statue of Significance, Chief Minister Nongtong Mambiren inspects ongoing construction of Maharaj Gambir Singh Samadhi. Healthy life, happy life. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar says well-being is essential for leading a fulfilling life, encourages youths to engage in physical exercise. Lack of acknowledgement, MLA Sugnu K. Ranjit accuses BJP-led state government of being ignorant on opposition party's role in bringing good governance. And the welfare benefits, over 2 lakh BPL families in the state to get free gas connection under expanded Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana Phase 2. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. Vendors of all three Ma markets ceased to work against encroachment by street vendors in the markets today. Speaking to media, Secretary of Kweramban Nupi Kaitel Semgut Sagatpal Loop, T.H. Rani, stated that the immemorial Kweramban markets are deteriorating day by day. She expressed disappointment that vendors in the three Ima markets are deprived of earnings as people usually buy from street vendors. Acknowledging that even street vendors are daily wage earners, Rani appeals to the government to come up with a market policy by January 10. She warned of surrendering vendor licenses issued to around 4,000 women vendors of the three markets if the government fails to come up with the policy. Vendors have been urging Chief Minister, IMC and other relevant authorities to intervene and resolve the ongoing issues of the street vendors and licensed vendors of the three Kweramban markets for a while now. ขันตะจานวารีกิตังตาราอคุยเทลไลน์นะมาปิจบะนิชีบาวกิมนุงดาโกเมนต์นะมาร์เก็ตโพลิซีเซมะกามาปันตะพมเมมเซอคักนะบ
ಅದನ್ನು ನಂಗನ ಬಾಯನ ಅದು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಪುಕ್ರಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಕೆ ಕಮಾಯ್ ತೋ ಬಕಿ ದೋ ಬಾಯನ ಈ ಎಂಬ ಲಾಕುನಿದ The Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar has stated that well-being apart from education is essential to lead a fulfilling life. He was speaking in the 33rd Foundation Day of Manipur Mountaineering Institute MMI come inauguration of 9 Eco Lodge at Lamdan in Charatanpur district today. Yumnam Joy Kumar urged every parents to engage their children in sports and physical exercises. The Deputy Chief Minister is sure to fill up the inadequate infrastructure of MMI to avail its benefits to youths in the area. He also said efforts will be made to set up a solar plant under the funding of NAC at MMI complex. <laughs> DM College of Arts and Dhana Manjuri University Manipur have jointly launched a two-day national seminar on the dynamics of Indian folklore as part of the 42nd Indian Folklore Congress at the Central Hall of DM College of Science today. Speaking in the event, Education Minister Thokchom Radhesham stressed on the significance of folklore. He asserted that folklore is a treasure of knowledge and wisdom of our forefathers which can be instrumental in bringing unity and development in the society. The education minister called on higher educational institutions to hold discourse on folklore. Taking part in the event, President of Indian Folklore Congress Professor Jawaharlal Handu encouraged everyone to promote folklore. Folklore is the treasure of knowledge and wisdom. So every study has two aspects. One is academic, the other one is applied. Life is the best school we all know. We learn so many things which we never, we were never taught in our school, colleges, and uh, institutes of higher studies. Folklore, if I understand correctly, I do not know whether my concept is correct or not. Past. what we are today is because of the past what we will be tomorrow it's going to be because of the present today so when we learn we study folklore let us study the good things which will join us which will unite us which will take us in a better place which can bring peace which can bring love and affection Bharatiya Janata Party BJP Manipur Pradesh in a press release congratulated Chief Minister Nongthomba Biren upon being conferred Champion of Change Awards 2018 by Vice President and M Venkaiah Naidu. MLA Sugnu K Ranjit has accused Chief Minister Biren led state government for not acknowledging the significance of an opposition party he was speaking in the inaugural of chanung multi purpose community hall constructed under mla local area development fund in chanung of kundrakpam constituency today mla ranjit stated that the ruling government cannot carry out whatever it, desi- it desires at whims he assured that the opposition party will keep an eye to prevent the bjp government from carrying out any works not related to the welfare of the people He condemns the government for terming the duty carried out by the opposition party as politicizing. MLA Ranjit maintained that BJP will not regain its power in the upcoming election. Sir, you are not even going to talk about the boy number. Chief Minister Mangatu Kerala was here. Bharati President Lakhu Bhavada. So I am going to go to Chief Minister Manipur. I am going to go to Chief Minister Manipur. ಅದು ಗುಂಬ 
working journalist in the procedure of the NA NA seven to ten professor was in one side of the other Indian journalist you never have a little dictator chief minister of Manipur Haila Ikhala Abu Bhakra but all the man of the book you reserve was a press from the TV and the life of TV and the life Siapa kata nasib pres yang kami hendak ikut saya bersih? Hanya pres nak ikut ikut ke kami. Ayat ayat yang asing bersih. Semikron koma waktu nak ikut lagi pres freedom oleh nak nadi amat tu dia yang oleh. Chief Sena Manipur State Unit has also rebuked the BJP-led state government as well at the center and at the state for wasting money amounting to crores of rupees in construction of statues instead of taking up welfare programs to uplift the poor. The party also demanded not to rename roads and airports. Speaking to media at the party office in Babupara today, party state secretary Lian Gangte lauded Chief Minister N. Biren upon being conferred the Champion of Change Awards 2018 by Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu yesterday. Seizing the moment, he demanded to know when the two national highways of Manipur will be converted into four-lane highways as promised by central leaders. Lian Gangte also warned that the ongoing Indo-Naga peace talks between the Indian government and NAC and IM should not compromise the integrity of Manipur. He also demanded for re-survey of the disputed Indo-Myanmar border pillars. World-class four-lane sim ni hai bado Prime Minister na lao thom bani hai riba four-lane ado kadai da lai rabra kadai pao da implement tau rabra kadong ngay implement tau gudra hai ba si sif sinna na tham ni State government ama di central government na athu bada National Highway Protection Force tham biu ma si da pura i ba noong magi cha na ba thak na ba essential items ama di building materials pot punamak ma panrom da gila i ba commodities punamak ase lambi da loot pa tau ba ase ikhoi gida mak ta Economy soy. Agriculture Director PH Rajendra has urged farmers to utilize paddy lands post harvest to remain productive throughout the year. He was speaking on the sidelines of an inspection at Nungoi Pokpi in Imphal East District, where winter crops like peas and maize are cultivated on 15 hectares of paddy fields post harvest jointly by Iravat Foundation Manipur and Kongjai Jingkong Laukon Farmers Interested Group Nungai Pokpi. The agriculture director was accompanied by officials of the agriculture department in Fal East District. PH Rajendra assured that government will facilitate the farmers in marketing their products. Next year, we will be able to get the farmers in Fal East District. Next year, we will be able to get the farmers in Fal East District. We will be able to get the farmers in Fal East District. So on every prime minister, we will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. We will be able to do the same thing in the world. A meeting was held today at the Office of Additional Deputy Commissioner of Moray to discuss on waste management and disposal site of Moray. The meeting, called by Additional Deputy Commissioner of Moray, M. Rajkumar IAS, was attended by leaders of various civil society organizations of Moray and chiefs and village chairmen of villages of Moray. Chairman of T. Morta, T. Minau Village, agreed to provide land for a disposal site. After the meeting, the team also inspected the site donated by the chairman. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Disam in a press release strongly condemns the government for remaining silent even after an inquiry committee has submitted its report highlighting the mistakes in Mark's tabulation of metric examination 2018 conducted by Board of Secondary Education Manipur. Disam want of intense agitations if the government fails to take appropriate measures by the end of this year. 
Socialist Students Union Manipur SSUM has demanded the presence of concerned contractors and subcontractors to clarify on their failure to pay wages to workers engaged in construction of Singjamai Market Block No. 2 in five days. Speaking to media at SSUM office in Kashampa today, SSUM President S. Yaima stated that workers of MS Babu Iron and Stainless Steel who were engaged in railing, shutter and staircase works of the market are deprived of their wages. He said, as complaints by the workers, around 11 lakh rupees meant for the works started in September last year were not released, apart from intermittent payment of 2 lakh rupees. Yaima intimated that construction of the market was undertaken under one contractor named Murphy from Chekon and subcontractors, Salam Roman from Sagolban Bijoy Govinda, and Thiam Roshan from Chingamaka Ketri Lairag. He claims to have proof for withdrawal of final bill for construction of the market around three months ago by the concerned contractors. The SSUM president also alleged subcontractor Roshan of failing to recognize the workers when approached for their payment. Yaima added that SSUM strongly condemns such exploitation of workers and warned of actions against the concerned contractors and subcontractors if they fail to resolve the issue in five days. Singjamai Ketel portion number two si hauze hauze saaba loi duna sangha gadobu ki fivam amada layra bani adubu saaba da welding ki thabak suri ba isini nao singi khusuman ngasi phawa pithok pidana layra masida isi da chenari ba contactor amadi sub contactor singna sinmi singi khusuman asi athubama tamda pithok piyo numit bangani phawa ki manung da contactor amadi sub contactor sing asi socialist union you know, of Manipur ki opista Lakadabani, Amadi, Wakal Taminagadabani, Hai Ribbon, Mid Mangani Fawagi Manunga, Sangzer Octava Taragadi, Maduda to the Tolopa of a Pata Dieter, Punamak, Contector Amadi Subcontector Pugadabani. Now moving ahead, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the protest meet called by all Manipur DPC completed candidates of Manipur Rifles male 2016 batch in demand for result declaration. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Members of all Manipur DPC completed candidates of Manipur Rifles male 2016 batch along with their parents and guardians staged a sit-in in front of Krishna Premi oil pump in Morangkom today. Speaking to media, one guardian condemns the government for the long delay in result declaration of the batch. The protester maintained that the delay has disheartened the candidates. Meanwhile, upon getting tip-off about the sit-in, a team of Imphal West police arrived at the spot around 3 this afternoon and disbanded the protest meet. Nai biraba government na hasi icha singa sigi yeng biraga atuba matamda icha singa sigi kerial idamata yeng biraga atuba matamda hariba tipis. Center for Research and Advocacy Manipur and North East Dialogue Forum in separate press releases strongly condemns the detention of Wang Kim Kishore Chandra under NSA. North East Dialogue Forum in the press release also condemns the killing of Muhammad Abdul Ghaffar from Ushay Pokpi after he was picked up by a combined force of 26 Assam Rifles and Thaubal Commando. Under, uh, under expanded Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana, phase 2, over 2 lakh households in the state will be provided with free gas connection. Speaking to media at Hotel Mars, All Assembly wrote today, State Level Coordinator of Indian Oil Corporation Manipur, Sinam Ibungoton, said the benefits will be provided only to below poverty line families and appeals to avail the opportunity by contacting the nearest LPG distributors. Ibungoton also said Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs launched Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana Phase 2 under expanded Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana scheme for women of below poverty line families on December 20. He said under the scheme, 8 crores uh, below poverty line women will be provided free gas connection. He also said the beneficiaries need to submit Aadhaar card, ration card and bank account number and to fill up a 14-point self-declaration form to avail the opportunity. IOC Chandil District Nodal Officer PC Koireng and District Level Officer IOC attended the event.
ministry is side tagi masigi scheme se hogdok re ado ekoi ki manipur ready ekoi si indian oil na maru na ekoi ki majority cast kaino sing si ekoi ki manipur se ekoi na cover to ekoi na monopoly oi tare market se maru na public sector undertaking me khada ekoi na hygiene ingbadi asigi scheme si 2020 gi mars ki kuntra mathoi da loi gadam ni na hoji su chahi ama hai tare chahi ama ga tha hu khata ngai khare aduna asigai si da ekoi ki manipur da leiba ekoi lai roge pangkhe makha da leiba lai ra bani haijaba ekoi gi singduna ngasai gi self declaration tawraga anoba ki wasi fill up tawiraga mayum da lpg connection litra ga di khrong chaba se lobi ho ama su ekoi id mai khu chenda ba adegi di pollution leita ba ekoi gi jam phajana ekoi gi hing bada jam nungai ba ekoi gi live ama khakta hing mina si Proprietor of Arun Enterprises, come social worker of Wangkai constituency, Thangjam Arun presented free gas connections to 70 beneficiaries of the constituency at his residence in Chingmerong today. The LPG distribution under Ujwala Yojna was held in collaboration with New Canaan Indian Grameen Vitrak, Yangon Pokpi. ยานเฟสโดยนะสายการอาจารย์กิลิงก์ตัวกันตาใครกินไว้ที่ซิตี้จุ่มสุ่มยาสเนี่ยเช่นว่าปีบันนั้นจะมีนะโกเมนที่พ
2 p.m. Speaking to media during a pre-match press conference at Classic Grant in Chingmerong today, head coach of Neroka FC Manuel Retemero Frel said that players of Neroka FC have improved a lot since their previous matches. He said tomorrow's match against Mohan Bagan is a crucial match for his team. He assured of putting all out efforts to secure three points from the match. So we will see a very, very tough match tomorrow. Yes, I want to keep the level, I told to them, and for sure everything good will be done, you know. And about Mumbagan, yes, I can tell you that, yeah, it's true, they are behind us, but it's Mumbagan, you told me that. Uh, one of, uh, of the big teams, big club in the I-League and India too, anyway. So we must re respect the, the, the team, like uh, we are doing any time. But uh, on the ground, don't see if it's Bumbagan, it's Bengal, Chennai, whatever. We must fight for three points. M. Kabam Lamkai and Trao Kwaketel beat their opponents in the second phase, knock out a, rock of, a round of 12 Manipur State League. Today. In the first round of the second phase knockout round, M. Kabam Lamkai beat Monvan Lai Athletic Sadar Hills 2-1. For the winners, N. G. Bungo and L. Binaton scored one goal each at the 29th and 71st minute of the match. In the second match of second phase knockout round, Trao Kwaketel dropped DM Rao Awang Sekmai 3-0. For the winners, N. G. Naucha scored two goals at the 11th and 30th minute, while S. H. Netrajit scored one goal at the 32nd minute of the match. Eight football clubs of Manipur are participating in the tournament, organized by All Manipur Football Association, sponsored by Kumukcham Ingocha Memorial Trust at Kuman Lampak Turf Ground. In the third match of the second phase, the knockout round, Aim Kabam Lamkai will meet Sagolban United FC, while in the fourth match, SSU Singjamai will play against Trau Pocketel on December 29. Development Committee Nauria Pakhanglakpa Assembly Constituency will organize a three-day veteran football tournament for above 40 years from January 3 to 5 next year at Mekola Bazaar Ground. Speaking to media at the complex of Zenith Academy in Shanghai Pro today, social activist Dr. S. Manauton stressed the need to have long-term vision for a better society. He also stressed the need to focus on nurturing human resources. He emphasized on promoting sports and culture of the state. Nauria Pakang Lapa Kendrana, Manipuda Labour Kendra Mayam Sigi, Manunda, Nishadagi Laptokpa, Amadi, Mating Labour, Naharol Singueba, Akanaba, Mangil Taba Kendrama, Oirak Nabuki Pandamda, Sigumba football tournament as is in Jebani, Hyba football tournament as Ida, Manipur Gimamna, Serb Yabu, Mating Bangbu, Nauria Pakang Lapa Kendrana, Manipur Gimanung the Tom Tinganba, Kendrama, Oirak Nabuho Nabada, Tom Jeriba Tabaking as Ida Mayam Gisu, Mating Nigeria. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Feuds between street and licensed vendors continue. Licensed vendors of three Quarambon markets stage sit-in demanding new market policy by January 10. Statue of Significance, Chief Minister Nong Thumumbiren inspects ongoing construction of Maharaj Gambir Singh Samadhi. Healthy life, happy life. Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar says well being is essential for leading a fulfilling life, encourages youth to engage in physical exercises. Lack of acknowledge acknowledgement, MLA Subnu K. Ranjit accuses BJP led state government of being ignorant on opposition parties' role in bringing good governance. And to welfare benefits, over 2 lakh BPL families in the state to get free gas connection under expanded Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana Phase 2.